Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see, tackle a problem that I faced. So you can see I have my Proxmox and this is Proxmox. This is the virtual machine. I am running Ubuntu. I'm trying to get my Docker and you can see it's stuck at starting the Docker engine. The other message popped up and says has closed, has closed unexpectedly. How I fixed it I, I already fixed it actually I'm just uh, I was making this video to see if I can recreate this issue and I did so I know what the uh, solution is I'm gonna show you first uh, so you you know I'm gonna and then I'm gonna try to do something different let's power it off because it's a virtual machine um, I'm gonna go back into Proxmox as long as soon as it's close all right so Go, go to Proxmox, you see you have Ubuntu there, click on it, so if it's data center something like that, uh, click on your Ubuntu, make sure it's closed, you go to its hardware tab, double click on processor and you can see it's KVM64, and if you see, what is the, it does say somewhere KVM is enabled. Uh, summary, yes. Summary. Ah, uh, shoot. You can't see it when you want. Oh, that's the ISO processor memory options. Right. Must be here. So you can see KVM hardware virtualization is enabled, yes. So when I was dealing with it, there was a blog post that say, check your KVM. When I check your KVM on the uh, terminal, it will say K KVM is not enabled in the Ubuntu terminal. And it will say it's not uh, supported or something like that. So I, when I checked that, it did say KVM64. And if you go to your hardware tab, you do see KVM64. So what is the issue? The issue was, you just change what I did was I change it to host and it worked now I know this is a Ryzen 9 this is the other thing that I want to do so for you probably the video has ended already you can make it host press ok uh, reboot it uh, what I want to try is I see there are all the model listed so I'm trying to see if I have a Ryzen here that I can probably no, I don't see Athlon, Epic. So I, I don't have Horizon. That is why. That's what I wanted to do. I would say, hey, if I can. Yeah, I don't have Horizon. I have e Epic. I don't know how to pronounce that. So these, these probably are the server processors. That's why. So let's do the host. OK. Now we go and go to our console or console here we started go to where is I can see docker here now right there all right, so it's gonna say starting the Docker engine, and uh, that's taking longer than I was expecting. There you go. So Docker started. So this is if anybody else is facing this issue, uh, you you have gone down the rabbit hole of KVM and on your. Uh, terminal if you go to I, I don't remember the command it was like if you're on the on the terminal you run that KVM command or something yeah so it wasn't like that it would simply say over here it will simply say unsupported something like that so this is the fix you go ahead uh, and, uh, change the processor type and it should be working Again, close, in, uh, close inspected. Uh, this did not happen before. Maybe, oh, I forgot to reboot the uh, machine. 
It's featuring your future bar on this program, send. So I believe that, oh, must be this one. Law inhibiting. It's taking time. So let's pause the video here actually. All right, so I have my prompt. I'm gonna type in uh, reboot to reboot it, and hopefully it comes back fast. I don't like uh, long videos. Oh, let's pause it. Ah. All right, so that was fast. Mm, go to Docker. All right, so there you have it. I'm gonna give it maybe another 30 second to make sure that it's not crashing. This is the first time it crashed. I believe that the reboot was in order. Um, I'd like you have to upgrade and uh, then reboot it and then run it. So you can see RAM is 94 GB, disk is 61 GB, not connected to hub. And I haven't played around in this thing. It's been 30 seconds. Uh, so I haven't played around in this. I'm trying to. Uh, I have so much to do. I'm uh, study-wise that I'm trying to uh, finish before I can come back and start playing with this. But here it is, Docker working. It's going to be about one minute mark now. Hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.